Hello, we are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we will show you how to pressure test your solar loop, bleed air from your charged solar loop, and install the exterior thermocouple. On the return side of the manifold, you will need to install a vent before you can connect it to the tank. Here you can see a vent comprised of a copper T and ball valve. Opening the ball valve will allow you to bleed air out of your solar loop. Be careful when opening the valve of an active system as hot liquid can escape and cause bodily harm. Remember to install a high temperature silicone gasket before fastening the stainless steel hose. The exterior thermocouple fits into the manifold and is wired back to the junction box. You may also use an automatic air bleeder to bleed your charged solar loop. Ensure that any air bleeder you use is designed to withstand high pressure and temperatures. It is always advisable to insulate your lines, and the type and amount of insulation will depend on your local climate. Here you can see our polyethylene insulation. It should be noted that this insulation needs to be in place before completing your solar loop, as it slides over the plumbing and should not be cut to wrap around it. Before priming your closed solar loop, it is advisable to air pressure test them first. To do this, attach an air hose fitting to the fill valve, and using an air compressor, blow air into your lines. To test for leaks, spray soapy water on all connections. When you are satisfied the loop is secure, you can begin priming the loop.